We start making that walk through DeChevro Field and people come out and they start getting closer and you can feel the energy and the high fives and then you make your way through the Broadway side over there and people start leaving their tailgate to come over there and high five and you feel that energy and you feel that that one team, one goal, one city. One great tradition. The Bronco Walk is something you have to see at Boise State football games. Here's how it works. Coach Harse leads the team through the fans at the tailgate about two hours before the game. What you'll notice is a lot of high-fiving, a lot of cheering. Something you may not see, though, is the pregame tradition that Coach Harson has with one special super fan. Doesn't matter. Rain, snow, sunshine, she's at the game, no matter. You're going to meet her in tonight's Sevens Hero. Here's our Maggie O'Mara. Meet Bernice Thompson. Go Broncos! She's been a Broncos fan since the late 60s. I started coming out here when uh, Coach uh, Lyle Smith was a, a junior college coach. And uh, I started then, and it was just so much fun to do. Now, at the age of 90, she's still going strong. I love it. I just love it. In all those years, she's rarely missed a tailgate party or a game. Her son Scott says she definitely bleeds blue. She's had four kids that graduated from Boise State. Um, kind of blue and orange all the way through. Every home game, you'll find her right here at her family tailgate. This is where all the action is. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> the team always passes by during the Bronco walk. Along the walk, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of high fives. There's a lot of go Broncos. There's a lot of cheers and things like that. And you better believe Coach Harson notices this 90 year old super fan. To me, you know, with Bernice, there she is really kind of towards the end of the walk where she's sitting there right up front. It's just one of those things you naturally gravitate towards people like that. Game after game, Coach Harson makes a stop right here. Comes by, does a Bronco walk, stops and says hi to her every game. Um, they have their little moment and you know, he called her uh, his good luck charm a few weeks ago and you know, something she gets a kick out of. He always gives her a hug. Whatever it is, I, I don't know how to explain it, but whatever it is, it's been working. We need to continue that. She makes sure that we're here early enough every game so that she doesn't miss that moment. Like, yes. she lives for that. It's, it's so cute. Bernice's family often posts the videos on Facebook. People love to see Coach Harson with this sweet 90-year-old fan. We usually always get a ton of likes. Some of the comments that we get are, I mean, just how cool Harson is, you know, for him to do that, take that moment. She also loves to high-five the players. They're always so gentle with her. Yes, they are. They're really nice, and they are all really friendly, and I will tell them to go Broncos, and they said we will. You know when people are going above and beyond, and she's sitting right there, front row, ready to high five everybody. Great enthusiasm. She's going to be at that game. Of course. Okay, you're all in. We're all in. Let's go get this thing done. She's excited. Big smile on her face. It's little things like that. At a recent game, Coach Harson gave her a signed football. Bernice says she's not sure why she stands out. Well, I guess I'm special. <laughs> but she's glad she does. He's just a, a really, really friendly coach. Bernice Thompson, super fan, inspiration. You know, here she is every game, as excited as could be. That doesn't go unnoticed. You know, we appreciate that. Seven's hero. Go, go Bernice! And check out this video of Bernice and Coach Harson prior to last night's game. She even brought along some cookies for the team. They worked. They worked in a big way. Bernice says she'll keep going to the game as long as she can. And we have no doubt that is going to be a long time. What it's do you think Bernice put in those cookies? <laughs> a little some, something, something? Something to help those kids do what they did last <laughs> night for sure. You know, I, in a situation like that, I've known Brian for a long, long time. And I know that for him, it means as much to, or more to him yeah. to, for that connection with Bernice as it does to her. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. fantastic. <laughs>